in case um, now I choose digital comparison 300 300 dpi um, this means that I I look now with 300 dpi for errors bigger than six pixels that means that the error or deviation is bigger than 0 0.0434 millimeters um, next we do not measure color but we, we look if the color is in the color space almost on the position like it should be from the PDF and then we have inspection mode so there's some some difference. So in case this is for the prepress, um, that's in case it's digital. I can change this. If I open it, everything is locked. So only the um, admin is able to unlock it. And now you can see here, we can change the resolution from 300 to 600 dpi. And we can here change from digital to leaflet, uh, standard, and carton. So especially in case of digital, we do not look in, in um, anything in case of paper. By leaflet, we know that um, we have some issues, or uh, we can have some defects coming from the back side and the front side. So if you have very thin paper, papers and um, you print a little bit too much black, you see a lot of things in, from the back side. In the front. So we can reduce this in case of uh, in default. And so that's a, the inspection which takes the longest time. And then we have standard um, where um, normally you, you can inspect folding patterns and things like this. And this pattern is we were reading, but the pattern means we have here in, in Europe some customers they print in the inside of the carton. So um, therefore, in the inside is not only not that wide than the outer side. So in case so we have, can do there some adjustments. But normally this is only you have to adjust the parameter only once, and uh, then everything is running. So this uh, template uh, on the parameters is actually printed. So the customer uh, can change it on the time to time, or they go over. This can be changed. That's the customer things um, which the customer has to to create those parameters during the installation process. So it's more or less without any parameters because um, this has to be done by um, the customer. So if they if they have some new preset, they you can okay that's over. You can override one, or you can just create a new one and um, name it whatever name you like, and then it's a new one. And you can take this on the next page. You have um, then you select the approved PDF file from your custom. Um, you normally you have some in your file system of, of your server or in the prepress you have some some systems where you have um, some reference files from your customer for the where you also take the plate making and then you open the files and you see here it's the carton is just parted by the die line that's done in case of some presettings. And the next thing is that you just that is uh, re reference file. Then you take the sample file. So the sample file is always shown in the PDF format, or should they then use the PDF? Uh, sample the file could only be in PDF or in uh, in a scan for scanning. And then. So we just open the sample file and you just commit the files. Now in the text, the screen is now free for the next job because that's the advantage of the server client architecture. So you have not to wait until you get the results so you can start with the next job. 
and everything is now done in the background on the server. Um, you see here, I just will wait the next 10 seconds so it will be finished. So, and the master file can be in the PDF only, no, sir? The master file? Only, only PDF only. It's normally what in the pharmaceutical industry um, is the reference. So now you can click in here and you see the box in dark, a little bit dark gray with a yellow number 28. That means that we have 28 deviations in this um, box. So in case it's done for a presentation, <laughs> we show you um, something. Now you see four small screens on the right side. Top on the right, you have the reference. On the left side, with the flashing yellow field, you see the sample. And down on the left side, you see um, the overview, kind of navigation window. And uh, on the right-hand side, you see, you see a list. Now the user only has to work, go through this list and then he has um, um, so, so seen all the defects. Okay, and in case this is his first defect with your flashing, so also the, the defects are automatically grouped. So on other software you, you have to group it by your own to make like a like feed like this and you have to group it but not in ours so our software let you know okay that's just done automatically then in case you have the chance to give a comment to this defect um, wrong color maybe missing color or whatever and then it's in case if you do not accept this deviation it's getting red so if you also can accept this missing when it gets its screen. But it will never remove from any reports. Whatever you do, if it's red or green, it will be written in the report. Also, if you have not um, seen it. Now you can just go um, through the facts. I do not will give them for all um, loading, so I just go through the the picture so now you see a missing black dot in the blue um, field same in red here you see um, the change colors and what you also can do and this can be done by um, by um, the user, you can use this um, bars down here, this, this tools. Now you can see that is um, in the sample, it's on the left side blue, going to the red side, right side uh, magenta, and in the reference it's, it's, it's mirror. So this is also wrong. The missing, so there's a um, missing color in this um, logo. So we prepared this just for presentation, and this is also what I what I will suggest when when we give you um, a kind of um, demo software um, that you will get have also some samples where you can present your customer in case okay this is shown as deviation or defect. So these deviations, these can be adjusted directly from here or do they need to go to the design inside again and need to no, this is just a comparison software. We do not um, adjust or correct anything. So we do not touch the PDF file or the um, reference file. We just take it and compare. Okay. Then the regarding the report that uh, the, the customer will change the uh, okay. Yes. So if he knows in cases in the prepass, after after he has seen also he creates a um, report <coughs> we can do it in between 
and then he can see um, and read the report. So we now see here that the, it's written the report, so it's done one report. I just have to <coughs> can open it. Um, all the reports are written in a PDF file. And you can store it somewhere on your server or you can um, just print it out but normally it makes no sense to print it out because the size is um, too big. But anyway during this um, procedure you, you can go back to your um, files. Here you see now the report so there are now our company logos and you can we can change those to the customer um, logos so that is um, let's say have something up sorry something for um, their customers and now you see here job the name of the job the sub job the user name of the um, pc and the um, client name of the client, so everything is, writ is written. And then you see also that's version 1.1 of the report, um, the date when it was created, and you see also the total result. Um, we have um, samples one and unhandled also one because we have not finalized it. So it's that's written in here, so it's incomplete. We have total deviations about 28, and we only um, regard two, and it's still unhandled deviation 26. So, these numbers you cannot change manually. So, um, because then you see here in this picture, you see the reference file, and you see how is this cut it by the die line. I have a question here. Yes. Uh, what does this unhandled data mean? Because we are not changing anything in the design. So yes, um, in this case, unhandled means more or less that we, if I 